so one important uh, clinical aspect to discuss here regarding this uh, phospholipid respiratory distress syndrome okay in infants so you might be knowing so when the baby get delivered they cannot breathe immediately they should push their lungs that means while uh, uh, while birth okay our lungs are flattened because there is no air entered in the lungs they didn't uh, expand so for that there should be some stimulation so once they expand again they should uh, come back to normal position again expand so for this what happens if this diapometer less than is not there there is no chance of expansion of lungs so the baby may die that's why at the month and like uh, at the second prime minister uh, at the beginning of the third trimester in the pregnant ladies they used to collect the uh, fluid uh, amniotic fluid and they will test for lecithin sphingomyelin ratio okay so based on this they will suggest okay if the baby is having enough amount of lecithin in their lungs okay baby after delivery they, uh, they uh, will participate in the inspiration expiration process and lungs will work properly and baby will survive if there is uh, any disturbances in the ls ratio okay that baby cannot survive though there is a delivery of the baby baby cannot survive okay the lungs will be collapsed stage only they cannot be expanded okay that is the importance of dipometal lecithin and what is the ratio normal after uh, prior to 30 we, 34 weeks of gestation the amniotic fluid lecithin and concentration are approximately equal after this time there is a marked increase in lecithin ratio greater than 5 okay beginning ls ratio equal okay after 34 weeks of gestation there is enormous increase of less thin ratio okay that means 5 is to 1 you can say okay as ls ratio 2 or 5 indicates adequate fetal lung maturity okay by the level of lecithin you can assess the maturity of the lungs okay delivery of a premature low weight and less ls ratio uh, that means less than uh, ls ratio 1 indicates the infant will probably develop respiratory distress syndrome or hyaline membrane disease.